Hey everybody, Pastor Donnie here. It is Saturday about three o'clock in the afternoon. Been working on my message and uh, I'm so excited about tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be an amazing day. Um, we're gonna be talking about marriage and family over the next few weeks through this series in Ephesians because that's how Paul uh, lays this whole thing out. He talks about our identity and then moves directly in how that affects the most important things in our life. Our marriages, our children, our families, our church, and our world. Um, with that, I wanna segue into something that's really important to me and it's it become more important over the last couple of days because of you. I've had a number of people send me text messages and phone calls concerned about what's going on over in Maui. And if you have been sleeping under a rock somewhere, uh, Maui went through this devastation of fires in the town of Lahana and it's completely wiped out. Not only is it wiped out, but many people have lost their lives. Um, the numbers keep increasing. There's a thousand people right now that are uh, unaccounted for, uh, that they cannot find. People that um, literally jumped into the ocean to save their lives and their stories that are just unbelievable. If you know anything about the islands and the island vibe that they have over in Hawaii. It's this word that they give over and over and I learned when I was at my daughter's wedding in Hawaii in June. And that is Ohana. Ohana literally means family. And they have a family atmosphere everywhere you go in Hawaii. Um, I, I felt that firsthand from the moment I got on the island. And um, we want to give that sense of family back to them. Uh, and we want to do it in a way that we know for a fact that the money that we give, the gifts we give are going to go to people who need it most. Two organizations that I would uh, totally support and I would encourage you to support in this effort. Number one is Samaritan's Purse. The other one is uh, Salvation Army. And you're going, Salvation Army? The guy at King Supers with the tin can at Christmas? Yes. Um, it is. It, it was started as, a, as really as a church and a, and a movement to help people in need. Um, it has never changed, and they do amazing things. Samaritan's Purse is another organization, and probably at the top of my list because it's primarily what they do. In fact, many of the places they provide relief, relief efforts to, you will never even see those things on the news. Um, they're an amazing organization. So. These are two organizations that I would highly, highly support. And we want to literally help these people in, in Hawaii in a way that we, uh, that is true to who we are as a church, that we bring the love of God to the heart of our community. But maybe we just bring the love of God to the heart of Maui. Um, there's great churches there. There's great faith there but we wanna give them the resources they need to recover and provide hope. Um, somebody once told me hope could be described as an acronym, holding on with patient expectation. Uh, we want them to hold on with pace, patient expectation, knowing that God is gonna come through, that uh, there will be a revival of sorts of faith there. Uh, we're praying for that. So. Um, consider giving to these two organizations. And I don't want to do it through our church. I just want you to just give directly to the organization. We don't need to be a middleman here. Um, so that's what I wanted to give you today. And as they say in Hawaii, mahalo, which is thank you. And I say thank you as well. May the Lord bless you. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be awesome.